Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is what, uh, the 29th day of April, 2021. You guys can already tell from our price chart that we are going to give you all a price prediction in the market for IDNomics. The ticker symbol is IDEX. You guys can even already see, you know, that we already did a price prediction. So we're not going to hype you up. We're not going to get any FUD, any FOMO. There's enough YouTube channels already out there in this space that is doing exactly that. For us, we're just simply worried about where the price is going to go right so that we can get in a position and win in the market so if that is interesting to you if you want to learn more make sure you hit that like button share and subscribe and come back again and again and again to this channel because i'm gonna be honest with you you need to have someone in your corner giving you expectations as to where price is going to go right everyone else is giving you price predictions on a if should could would basis and trying to play out all the scenarios as to what the market is going to do without being biased. For us, we are biased. We're biased in which way the market is going to go. You know, the market can only go in one direction. It cannot go in a plethora of different scenarios that so many other people try to give you. So let's break this down real quick into the market and ideonomics. You guys can see right here that we played a price prediction into the market right here on April the 12th 2021 and we was playing a weakness and we told you all to expect the price in idea numbers to come down towards you know two dollars and 38 cents two dollars and 40 cents right there was a couple of days to where the market traded slightly below that but we were generally in the area as to where we would expect to see the support and literally the market in idea numbers did not go no lower than two dollars and 20 cents so we was in the ballpark we was around the area to where the market was able to prop itself up right we didn't see the market in id numbers come all the way down to a dollar 80 or even two dollars so congratulations you know 12.13 percent probability was had in that particular prediction you know right before we seen the market recover or you know just simply come back and reclaim some of the price loss that we saw on april the 12th so let's take that away and the first things first, let's let's zoom out and see what is the market really giving us in ideonomics. Is it giving us a trend of higher price movement? Is it giving us a trend of lower price movement? And it's neither. The trend that we're getting right now in ideonomics is one of sideways trading. That's it. We're just bouncing in between our two lines right here. Okay. You guys can see it. The majority of the trading, the market in ideonomics is just trading within those two lines. So it's nothing hard. It's not complicated. We can visually tell this is what the trap has been doing ever since February 23rd, 2021. Here we are about to enter the month of May and this market in ID Anomics has just been bouncing in between those two lines. So now let's take a look at the market on a different time frame though. Okay. So this is the two day time frame in the market in ID Anomics. And I'll be the first one to tell you that over the last three two-day price bars we've definitely seen some strength enter into the market okay now it's not overwhelmingly a lot of strength but if anything the market is trying to confirm to us that it's trying to at least keep price within our two lines right i'm not telling you that we're going to start a all-out brand new trend of higher prices no not yet that won't occur until we see this market and ideonomics break uh three dollars and fifty cents to the upside Okay, so just like we've seen all of this price history into the market in ideonomics, this is the type of environment we're in. You know, this market in ideonomics does not give us any monumental trends to where you can definitely tell that we are in an uptrend. You know, the market is not trending like this. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let me show you Square. Okay, so you guys can see. That square is in a definitive uptrend, right? You can see it. We're going higher and higher and higher and higher in price. When you take a look at ideonomics, right? So let's switch it back over to ideonomics. We're not getting that. You know, this market generally is not giving us that at all. We're just seeing this market in ideonomics really just trade within range. And it's kind of rigid and ragged in the sense of how this market trades okay so we have to be prepared in that we have to see that and another thing i wanted to show you is that even back here 
all the way back in 2011, the market in ideonomics was maintaining this price level, $3 as support. Now that was back in 2011. There has been plenty of times where this market found restriction at $3, support, restriction, 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 support. So $3 is important. You know, if anything, I wanted to tell you and show you that that $3 is massively important for this market in ideonomics. It lets us know if we're going to continue to see the price go higher or lower. Okay, $3. And you guys can tell around that particular price over the last couple of trading days, the market in ideonomics has maintained its price above $3. And the strength is still here. So clearly what I'm just trying to tell you all is that this particular market in ID and obviously is definitely giving us some strength. We are going to play the market movement higher price. And we're not going to say that it's going to break out though, right? We're not going to tell you or show you that the market in ID and is going to shoot up to $12. You know, we're going to be more realistic in the sense of where the market is going to go. We're going to try to pinpoint uh, where would be the level price level as to where the weakness and the sellers will appear so that we can just get out the market and take the profit right before the market takes another dip all right so let's do this real quick um let me take this back over to daily and like i said the market strength is definitely coming through in ideonomics now we're just going to play the strength in between our trading channel because we've seen the market ever since february that it was just simply bouncing in between the trend right we're going to hold around two dollars and 65 cents as support okay now where is that restriction area because i can see a slight area of restriction in idea right there around three dollars and 25 cents that's the first area that we will be expecting the market to try to dip okay which is around four and a half percent profitability now switching it over to these very longer time frames that doesn't look like it's going to hold back the market though Okay, so we're going to extend this price level up a little bit higher in ideonomics, uh, maybe around like $3.45 right there. So we're just going to take it up there to our restriction area, and that's about it. Okay, so almost about 12% market movement from where the market closed on yesterday. Support areas around $2.66. All right, so that's it. We're going to play the strength but generally the market is not in a bias direction like in square to where you can definitely tell that we're in an uptrend into the market in square we're not getting that in ideonomics all right so this is our updated price prediction into the market in ideonomics as always i want to know what you all think drop the comment in the comment section and let me know where do you think the price in ideonomics is going to go and where would you take the lick make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different